What's good YouTube? I'm back with another video and today I got a very special treat for y'all boys today. It's been a lot of y'all asking for my sigs, my dribble moves on my stream. So today I'm gonna give y'all boys the best dribble moves in the game. But please understand dribbling is all about putting moves together, comboing up, and chaining all your moves together. You gotta, you know what I'm saying, y'all know how to combo. So with that being said, I'm gonna be giving y'all my badges, my sigs, and we're gonna be breaking down some gameplay. Before we get into some gameplay, make sure you subscribe if you're new, turn on that bell so you never miss a video, and maybe you catch a stream, you know what I'm saying? You can pull up on me, see what you got, see if you could drop me off. Now for the badges, there are few badges that actually matter. The only badges that matter are handles for days, quick first step, clamps breaker, killer combos, and unpluckable. A few badges that I like using that I don't know have a if they have like a big effect is hyperdrive. Apparently hyperdrive helps you dribble faster and perform moves faster, but I don't know. When I put this on, it might be like a slight increase. Now I use it just to use it because I got the badges. And another badge I'm iffy on is ankle breaker. I only use this to break ankles and make people fall, but a lot of times this badge doesn't even work. So if you you know, you don't have a lot of playmaking badges. Don't even worry about ankle breaker or hyperdrive. What I would worry about is handles for days. Handles for days helps you manage your stamina when you're dribbling, which is obvious. I mean, this is a no brainer. Another one is quick first step. This will give you faster speed boost. The faster your quick first step is, or the higher your quick first step is, the faster your speed boost will be your quick first step. Another one is clamps breaker. Basically, a defender won't be able to clamp you, they won't be able to stop you when you're driving to the paint. Clamp breaker is very clutch, because you know what I'm saying, without clamp breaker, you're gonna be getting pressed the whole time, like, they're gonna be all up on you, bro. Clamp breaker is very important, I love clamp breaker. It just helps you get by your opponent, as you can see from the bottom left. Improves the ability to fight off, contact, protect the ball, and drive by opponents. Clamp breaker is very good. And lastly, wait, not lastly, but second to last is killer combos killer combos improves the, the player's ability to chain together efficient dribble moves when sizing up your opponent so basically it helps you combo it makes your combos even faster and it actually stuns your opponent so if your opponent is right in front of you and you're comboing it will stun them it'll freeze them so if you the higher you have this the more stuns you will get if you have this on like hall of fame it'll be broken but you know i only have it on silver but it's still very good on silver and lastly, we got Unpluckable. We all know about Unpluckable. Gold Unpluckable doesn't even work. Not really, but Unpluckable is a must badge. Whether it works or not, it always sucks getting ripped. Nobody likes getting ripped in NBA 2K, so make sure you have Unpluckable as high as it can go. I will be giving you guys my sigs at the end of the video, but before I give you all my sigs, I'm going to do a few games and I'm going to break down the gameplay. You know what I'm saying? Just to show you how I be cooking with my sigs. My sigs be crazy. First up, we got a mascot. If you don't know, bro, a legend mascot. Bro, this season just came out two days ago and this man's already a level 40 mascot. Like, come I know I'm a level 31, but I had to grind for that 31. This man's a level 40 as you can see this dude's a post scoring demon and this is what my, my first game on like i had just got on and i'm gonna show you how i be cooking you got some little standing dunk you know what i'm saying something slight something slight but i know with these post scores all you need is one stop i was kind of struggling at the start to get a stop but you know so i horse over him i get a rebound over him he's spamming because i think he knows who i am i know rj so he, he knows what's up bro it's ggs for my boy rj so i'm not gonna lie as you can see, I try to hit him with the spin back. I mess up on my dribble moves. So I hit him with a quick drop off. He was not expecting me to take a two that early. I try to take twos early on so they play back more. I just think that's kind of smart. You know what I'm saying? Taking twos early on. And then I pop a quick three. Bang. Yes, Sarski. Got the Luka step back. A little slight 7%. Nothing crazy. It's just a 7. Got Luka step back. And then I get the, you know what I'm saying? Spin back. Luka step back. That's one of the most deadliest combos. The spin back into the Lucas step back is crazy. But at this point, this man cannot guard me, bro. Like, look, 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 look. He cannot guard me, bro. Okay, I'm kind of just over dribbling. You know, like spin back, Lucas step back. I could have shot that, but I wanted to get a contact dunk. And, you know, so I didn't get contact. But 
at least I dunked over him. You know, I still got my two pointers. I still got my two points, no matter how I got it. And I drop him. Look at that with the snatch back. Do I finish the clip? Of course I finish the clip. Bro, if I'm dropping RJs, I gotta finish the clip. So at this point, I got a little too excited. I wanted to drop him a second time. So I'm spamming. Look, look, look. I'm spamming all the dribble moves I have, the snatch back, and I run out of adrenaline. If you don't know, when you run out of adrenaline, you're pretty screwed. But no, I'm not. I am not screwed. I pull something out of the Duffy, and I green it. Yes, sir. So it's 2-16. to 16. I think I do something that's stupid. I don't think I, I win the game here. I think I just give up the ball because I'm, you know, I'm getting a little too confident. Look, look. I do a stupid step back, and then I have to shoot over him. As you can see, you know what I'm saying? I make him pick up the ball. If only he had clamp breaker. If only he had clamp breaker. You know, I force him to pick up the ball. At this point, you know what I'm saying? I have to end the game. I'm taking my twos. I'm like, let me get RJs off the court, bro. Because if he gets post takeover, the game is over. As you know, like, these post scorers, all they need is post takeover and they win the game. I do an unnecessary spin back. But you know what I'm saying? We do everything unnecessary. I green the dunk. And he blocks it and gets post take. So at this point, I'm like, all right, I have five seconds left. I have to end the game. I have to just shoot a three. I don't care. You know, with the step back, green for the game winner. Now on to the second game. Before this game starts, can we hit, try to hit 500 likes for this video? That's my like goal. 500 likes. I know y'all can do it. You know what I'm saying? I trust y'all. I believe in y'all. 500 likes is something slight for you guys. That's the like goal for today's video. You know what I'm saying? I end up getting the ball back. And as soon as I get the ball back, I waste no time. I pop a three right away. The first, like, 0.2 seconds, I'm already shooting, bro. And y'all just be rim running, bro. And I'm over here trying to shoot. Spin back, step back, green. Green bean twice in a row. Come on. Step up. You gotta step up on me. You can't do... can't play that terrible defense with me, bro. You gotta step up. You know what I'm saying? Cross, step back, beyond the back, snatch back, spin back. Okay, I'm low-key over dribbling, I'm not gonna lie. So I take my two because I was running out of adrenaline. I was running out of stamina, so I was like, yo, let me just take a two. I got a play take. I think I'm gonna try to go for ankle breaker, but he's not even... You know, look, he's just sitting in pain. Like, why are you sitting in pain? It gets to the point where I be going so crazy, they just give up. They, they literally give up. They don't even want to guard me no more. Why? Like, come on, man. But you know what I'm saying? He stops sitting in pain, but it does not matter. Whether you sit. But this dude is playing the most weird defense, so I'm just ducking on him. I'm just trying to get a clip. Eddie, lay up your feel me yet. He quits. So, with that being said, I think y'all seen enough. You know what I'm saying? I'm moving pretty fluently. Like, my movement, as you can see, is very good. All right, now that you made it to the end of the video, I'm going to be giving y'all my best six in the game start off with dribble style michael jordan is a undisputed best dribble style in the game it's not even close every youtuber in the world will tell you michael jordan is the fastest most fluid dribble, dribble style in the game bro there's no competition really so make sure you have mj dribble style this is a must so when you're making a build make sure your builds have a 75 speed with ball your builds need a 75 speed with ball now for the signature size up, you know what I'm saying? I'll be switching between Giannis, Jalen Suggs, Tracy McGrady, Jeremy Lin. I'll be switching this a lot, but the one signature size up I always go back to is De'Aaron Fox. De'Aaron Fox is my favorite signature size up in the game. It's the most, I don't know, it's the most effective in my opinion. I like how it gets me open. I like how I can combo it with other moves. I highly suggest De'Aaron Fox, but if you can't get De'Aaron Fox, I do like Jeremy Lin, I do like Giannis, and Jalen Suggs is very underrated. So if you can't equip De'Aaron Fox, use one of those four, and you will be very satisfied with that signature size up. Now, for the size up escape package, arguably one of the most important dribble moves, Sigs, in the game. Now, I switched between KD, Paul George, and Zach Levine. And you know what I'm saying? What I love the most and what I go back to every time is Paul George. This is the best signature size up in the game. This one, this is for my dribble guys. Like, it's so easy to combo with Paul George. It might not give you the most space. It might not give you the most, like, like if you want the most space for step backs, use LeBron James. You know what I'm saying? But if you want to combo up, you want to put moves together, and you want to be a dribble god, you want to be a dribbler. Paul George is the most effective. It's the fastest, most fluid 
Like, I'm highly vouching to Paul George. You need to put this on. You need to try it. Next up, we have moving crossover. And the only crossover I would suggest is James Harden. James Harden is the quickest, most fast crossover in the game. And it just goes well with other moves. It's, it's very fast, very effective. And I highly suggest James Harden. Next up is movement behind the back. And you have two options for this one. You can have James Harden. James Harden goes well with combo and with other moves. So... Yeah, so if you want to be like a dribble guy, you want combo James Harden. And if you want a more explosive, fast moving behind the back that can't combo, it's very hard to combo with this moving behind the back because it takes so long. It's such a long process, but it's very fast and explosive. Then I'll go with Zach Levine. So you have two options here. Me personally, I like James Harden, but you can't go wrong with Zach Levine. Moving spins. The only spin you should ever use is basic spin. Like, there's no question. Everyone in the game has basic spin. There's no requirements. Put on basic spin if you want to do the spin back, the most effective move in the game. Next up, we are moving hesitations. Nobody uses hesitations. Like, well, I mean, I, I can't say that a lot of people use hesitations, but a lot of like new players, a lot of like casual players, they don't really be messed with the hezi. But the best Hezzy in the game is James Harden, in my opinion. I like James Harden moving Hezzy. Last on the list, you got the Luka moving step back. A lot of people like normal because you can crab people. Normal is like the cop stage step back. But like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Like, Luka is pretty cop. I'm not going to lie. Like, a lot of comp players do use Luka. But, you know, and the, the cop scene, normal step back is the way. But I really do like Luka step back. I can't go, I can't turn my back on Luka, you know what I'm saying? This goes so well with the movement behind the back, not the movement behind the back, but the basic spin. If you do a basic spin into the Luka step back, you will get open 90% of the time. I'm not even trolling, like the movement step back with the basic spin, like the, the spin back step back combo is crazy. But with that being said, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you liked the video, drop a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And yeah, man, we'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace out, y'all.